So the past couple of episodes of Magia Record have been an interesting experience. I mean, between the Witch Factory, Embryo Eve, to most likely Kuroi's sacrifice. I mean, I, truthfully, I don't see how she gets out of that one alive. But then again, bigger twists have happened. I mean, just look at Yoroha herself. But things are lining up for a pretty explosive what seems to be finale of at least the second season, right? Because we have three more episodes of season two before we wait sometime in December where the final season, which is probably four or five episodes, come out, right? So it's going to be fascinating because, honestly, I didn't cover last week's episode when it came out, right? Usually I do it on Mondays, but I was a little tired, a little overwhelmed with other different things, so I decided to combine episodes four and five into one video, and truthfully, it's probably for the best because... While episode 4 served a purpose, you know, kind of getting us up to speed with what's going on, there's a pretty cool action scene last week. There honestly wasn't a lot that was different from what we've seen up until that point. It almost felt like more of like a setup than anything. While this episode really kind of gets your mind racing, I find, more so than usual. I mean, the whole idea of like who you can trust, who's really on the side of magical girls, you know, is whatever they're doing with this witch factory going to cause any good things to occur? Do they fully believe that they're trying to do the right thing? People who I thought were completely in charge and in the know apparently have no trust in her own circle. So where in the goddamn hell do you go from here? And truthfully, it seems like annihilation. It really feels like in very cultist fashion, a group of people were able to take the, you know, goodwill and mental anguish of some and convert them into a cult to do these horrible things that are going to probably cause everyone's death. To see the marching of how many witches, like, coming to that scene, like, I mean, how do you deal with that? Like, one is enough to cause destruction, and the fact that you have something that, honestly, this scene right here, where the train is just going in the mouth and is eating it, is one of the most disturbing things I think Shaft has done to date. It's not, like, overly, like, slasher horror, but it's that kind of psychological thriller that really is disturbing, and just seeing something, this artificial witch, be made is kind of shaking me to my core. And I'm not sure if I'm the only one feeling this way, but I have to say the action in Moggy Record Season 2 is not only some of the best I think Shaft has done, I think it's some of the most fast-paced action that works so well without being disorienting. Because anytime you have action that's like really fast-moving, to the point, you know, they're jumping around, the camera's moving fast, the character models are moving fast, I often find that type of stuff is so fast-paced that you can't pay attention to what's happening. It almost feels just like blobs are moving around the screen. But I don't find myself having that issue with Magia Record, yet I feel like it's borderline to that territory. Last week's action, as an example, that being episode 4, I mean, the characters are bouncing around so fast, the attacks are moving, like, literally, if you want to get some of the images I'm using for right now, like, you have to go so perfectly frame by frame. Some of these details are there for less than a millisecond, yet they detail it so well with all the in-between frames that while it's so ridiculously fast, it's not disorienting and you can keep up to date with what's happening. And I haven't seen too many anime studios do that, especially a team like Shaft that actually lost quite a few of their key talent. I mean, they're seriously doing some KyoAni shit over there, I feel like, with training new people and really getting them up to speed with the vision that they want. And it's going to be interesting to see if, like, not only just, like, with Magya Record and Madoka projects, like, what maybe Monogatari projects might look like going forward, because there is still more content for them to adapt, but I digress. Needless to say, the action is looking goddamn incredible, and it doesn't feel like it's letting up, which is wild, because I feel like many of us were probably a little skeptical, probably thinking the first couple of episodes were just, they had the right people involved, they freelanced the right ways, but there's no way the action's gonna look like that every single time, and honestly, it kind of feels like it's just getting better. Now, it's interesting too, because you have, obviously, the OG Madoka cast with us, as well as the Magi Record cast. Season 1 of Magi Record, we had a couple of characters and glimpses and tastes, but now it feels like the whole cast is here, and it's kind of interesting thinking about a timeline and a world line where, like, they're interacting with the Magi Record storyline, rather than what we typically saw when we were watching the TV and then obviously the Rebellion movie, so that's also pretty fun as well. I guess my biggest takeaway from the past two episodes, four and five, is that shit is going to hit the fans so extreme that the final season, however many episodes that is, like I say, probably four or five, maybe even a few, is probably just going to be like non-stop chaos action and hopefully some form of resolution, because... 
I mean, you don't make a witch factory that is just there to feed your artificial witch. And some of the dialogue towards the end of the latest episode pretty much just says to me, like, shit's gonna be an apocalyptic future. And, I mean, who knows who's getting out of this all alive? Probably not as many as I would have said walking into Season 2. But still, it's up in the air. I mean, Kade, in last week's episode, I mean, shit ain't looking good for her either. The fact that they can just, like, put her in pretty much, like, a glass ball, and then she just has all these walls of witches, you know, people who use their doppels to extreme, and they ended up like that. I mean, some of the shit these cultist-like leaders say, and how nonchalantly they say it, is, uh, I guess disturbing would be the nicest word I can say. I mean, it's just one of those things where I just kind of wonder, like, had there not been a final season announcement, I would have put money on this being, like, enough to end it, right? Because three episodes left to go for season two, like, I mean... Okay, let's just argue the point of, like, say the Witch Factory, what they're doing right here, doesn't work out, some other big threat, but how could you get bigger than what we're currently seeing? So, I don't know, like, uh, can they really keep up with just non-stop action to keep it on the narrative level interesting enough? I mean, probably, but it's interesting because I'd say the biggest strength Season 2 of Moggy Record has is that it's the perfect blend of the old school meets new school Madoka formula where the action is definitely the most polished we've seen, very interesting, well choreographed, but the characters and the mystery and the way it's being revealed while reintroducing, you know, fan favorite characters is what's been making it so interesting, so where the hell do you go from here? I mean, it'll be interesting, I mean, it's always great to see the characters mix and match, I mean, definitely with pairings we haven't seen up until this point. God damn, like, the artistic vision in this season, I've said it probably multiple points throughout different Shaft reviews, the idea of just like what they do with their visuals is enough that you could mute the audio, have no subtitles on screen, and probably more often than not be entertained. I mean, take the latest episode as an example, just like look at the number of times this arts and crafts worlds kind of seeps into their reality. It's pretty, pretty great. That's the best way to put it. I mean, love Amagi Record. I'm excited for more. I mean, now that Two Year Eternity has concluded with this week's episode, the remaining few episodes for Magi Record Season 2 will definitely be coming out on a Monday, no issues unless something unexpected happens, so don't worry, I always come back if I miss a video, I just do it in a lump sum. And like I said, I, I would love to talk more about last week's episode, but there really isn't all that much I find, it's more of a setup for what we saw here, which kind of just works out in my favor if I'm being honest. But let me know your thoughts, either on last week's episode, the latest episode, and what the hell do you think is going to happen with this whole witch factory and everything going on? Because it kind of seems like chaos, but I guess we'll see. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new around here. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.